Is it possible to kill every single mob in Minecraft in just 12 hours? Now, what am I even saying? This is gonna be easy. I mean, there's only 76. How difficult could that be? Oh, I had no clue what I was getting into. Because within the first 30 minutes, I killed eight mobs and um, I'm already behind schedule by a lot. How do I know this? Well, you see, another guy did this before, and it took him 20 hours just to find one out of the 76. And, um, you wanna know how rare that mob is? Yeah, extremely rare. And we need to find that in 12 hours. And that's not even the rarest mob on the list. But it's fine, because I have a game plan. I need to get the basic mobs out of the way as fast as possible, so we can move on to the rare mobs, then to the nether mobs, then finally kill all the extremely difficult bosses. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty difficult, but if everything goes to plan, I should be able to do this. All right, now that we got the iron golem, let's go ahead and kill these villagers. Come back! Let's kill this donkey. Bro, these rabbits are gonna be an issue. Stop! Stop! Stop, stop, there we go. You know, there's a lot more basic mobs than I thought there were. Which is good because we can wipe these out pretty easily. But what I'm not looking forward to is the hostile mobs and the rare mobs. Those are definitely gonna be an issue. Oh, oh my god. He does half my health, that's crazy. Now a glow squid, a camel, a llama, a puffer fish, and an axolotl. Now let's kill a slime and breed these frogs. Can you do it a little bit quicker, please? Okay, there we go. Also, I realized that mining for iron to get armor would be a waste of time. So I'm gonna be doing this challenge without armor. Let's hope that doesn't backfire. Anyway, let's kill the last non-hostile mob, the tadpole. And now that we got the basic mobs out of the way, let's move on to the rare mobs, like an LA, which you can only find in a pillager outpost and has a 50% chance of spawning. Also, I got a horse. His name is Bob. Oh my God, I found one. It's an outpost. There's two of them. Oh God, I'm gonna die. These guys are gonna kill me. They do so much damage. Okay, I killed one. I, I'm no. Oh my God, Bob. Rest in peace, Bob. You'll be forgotten. Now that alley wasn't actually that rare compared to a mushroom cow, because the island that it spawns on has a 0.056 chance of generating. And uh, yeah, that um, that sucks. But at the same time, I'll move on to the next mob. But I'll still keep an eye out for that one. Next is a tropical fish. And even though it has a 2% chance of spawning, I was able to find that one pretty fast. Next up is a skeleton horse, which I thought w wasn't going to be too hard until I realized it uh, it has a 5% chance of spawning, which is not that low, but it can only spawn during a thunderstorm, which has a 1.44% chance of happening, making this probably the rarest mob on this list. So I'm just going to move on to the next one while waiting for it to thunderstorm. Now let's find the sniffer egg, which all we have to do is craft a brush and dig in suspicious sand, which it should have been easy to craft a brush, right? But like, I, I could not find a chicken. Freaking finally. So the sniffer egg has a better chance of spawning like in like a warm ocean. Luckily, we happen to be uh, right by one. So I, I don't think this would take too long. <gasps> no way we found the sniffer egg that fast. Okay, well that just put us ahead a lot. <laughs> okay, so it says this egg takes 20 minutes to hatch, but that's a little bit too long for my liking. It says if you place it on top of a moss block, it will hatch in like only 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go find a moss block. Hopefully it doesn't take like 20 minutes to find because then I'll just be wasting my time. Yes, we found them. Okay, let's go. I, I didn't think that was possible to find moss blocks and chests like that, but hey, we did. Boom, all right, and now we wait 10 minutes for it to hatch. And now that we got that out of the way, let's move on. Oh, remember that mushroom cow I was talking about and how rare I made it seem to be? Well, I, I found one. Bro! Boom. Even though we still have to wait for the skeleton horse, we can at least not worry about the mushroom now, because we got that. This gives me hope. Uh, that's all I'm saying. Anyway, let's move on to the baby zombie, which you probably didn't even know was rare, but it is, because it has a 5% chance of spawning. <gasps> I see a baby zombie! Come here. Oh, God. This <gasps> There's two of them now. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why is there two of them, bro? I was struggling to find one, and now there's two out of nowhere. Did they come in packs? Got them. Okay, uh, that's all I need. I'm out. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go sleep now. Also, I, I just want to point out the fact that I came this close to death multiple times already is it, it, a little bit concerning. It makes me wonder how far I actually get into this challenge. Enough rambling on. Let's move on to the next mob. So if I place this jack o' lantern on top of the snow, it turns into one of these dudes. Bro, he looks goofy. Bro, what the heck? Dang, he was weak. Oh, I forgot to mention. I uh, I got a new horse. I'm gonna name him uh, Bob Two. Why did Bob have to die? The next rare mob is a wandering trader, which has a 25% chance of spawning. So I thought it was going to be easy. Then I realized it's a 25% chance every 20 minutes. 
That's like not a 25% chance. So considering I had to wait for this mob, I decided to move on and wait for it to naturally spawn. So now that we are done with the rare mobs, let's move on to the hostile mobs. And I have to be super careful with these because I have no armor and I could die instantly. But we'll start with the easy ones and work our way up to the harder ones. So let's kill a zombie, a skeleton, a spider. Make sure this creeper doesn't blow up. Now let's take this zombie and turn one of the villagers into a zombie villager. Get in the boat. Zombie, you get in the boat too. Yeah, there we go. Okay. There we go. He's a zombie villager now. I don't know. Wait, I don't know how they switched places, but okay, let's kill him. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, that was the game uh, reminding me that I am very weak and I could die to literally anything. If I want to do this, I have to be way more careful. Okay, I, I need to get back on my horse. I need, to I need to leave. I need to go to a desert to kill a husk. And dead. He dropped a carrot. That's that's rare. <gasps> it's thunderstorming. Just a reminder, I'm still looking for that skeleton horse, which only spawns during a thunderstorm. Now look, I, for some reason, I had very high hopes that one could spawn here. But as time went on, I soon realized how difficult this might actually be. Like, just imagine. Imagine. I lose this challenge because of a horse. I hope that doesn't happen. No, no. Oh, man. After that, I started making my way to a snow biome because there are two mobs that I want to kill. One being the polar bear and the other being a stray. They do so much damage. All right, and now we just have two more left. The cave spider and now the phantom. There we go. Now we can finally move on to the raid mob, which will probably be a little bit difficult because I'm doing this whole thing without armor and most of them can just one tap me. So I came to the conclusion that I would need to build a raid farm since it's an easy way to kill them without taking any damage, which is perfect because that's what I need. However, my plans changed whenever I ran into these guys. Bro, one of them had piercing on the freaking the, the crossbow. Now look, for some reason, I forgot I had the bad omen effect, walked right into the village and started a raid. I forgot I had the raid thing on. So I had two options. One, run away, waste time making a raid farm. Or two, take this opportunity now to kill all of the raid mobs. You already know which one I'm gonna pick. How do I do this without dying? Lava. I killed one, okay. He skips the lava. Oh my god, I completely forgot about the freaking Ravengers, bro. How am I gonna kill a Ravenger? Okay, get closer, get a little bit closer. Place lava. Yes, he's dying, he's dying, he's dying. Die, witch. Okay, I got a witch. Perfect. I'm out of here. I'm out. I'm out. All right, now I just need a couple more. Oh, God. All right, all we need is the evokers and the vexes, and I'm out of here. I am not staying in here any longer than I have to. I need this guy. Come here. Come here. Yeah, keep walking this way. You fool. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know how much damage these guys do. Oh, my God, bro. Let me kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Got him. Okay, we got, we got the Vex. Now we just need to kill the Evoker, but it's going to be kind of difficult now that there's freaking Vexes all over it. I got to go. I got to go kill him. I got to go. I got to go in. Go in. I didn't even kill him, bro. There's so many of those things right here, though. I killed him. I'm out of it. I'm out of it. I'm out. Do not hit me. Do not hit me. I'll pop. This guy's so close to... I'm in a cave. This is bad. This is really bad. Dude, how did I not die? I was just in that cave. I am so surprised that I just did that. I came so close to death. If this is difficult, imagine how difficult the upcoming bosses are gonna be. <laughs> I am not ready for that. But now since we killed every mob in the overworld, kinda, let's move on to the nether mobs. And even though there are only 11 mobs in the nether, these mobs are probably the most dangerous mobs yet. But First things first, we need to build a portal. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not sure if I will call how to do this. So we're just gonna do it the old fashioned way. There we go, look at that. That was pretty easy. <gasps> oh my God, one of these dudes spawned. But I was so worried that I wouldn't be able to kill you, bro. But we can finally check that off the list as well. All right, so what I'm gonna do to light this is I'm just gonna place wood around it and it should light eventually. Oh my goodness. Dude, here we are, the nether. Let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and kill this guy real quick. Well, wait, wait I, I forgot that they all chased me after, but... Yeah, well, I'm kind of stupid. Yeah, I realize if I wanted to stay alive, I'm gonna need something to help me kill all these mobs. But considering I have limited time on my hands, I couldn't get anything crazy. Luckily, I have the perfect idea. Okay, for the gas, I think what I'm, I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try to shoot the fireball back at it and then get it that way. Oh, but that does so much damage. Boom. Oh, oh. Oh, we got it, we got it. That is so loud. By the way, my plan was to use a boat to like trap most of these mobs in since it's easier to kill them in the boat because they can't really attack you and you can attack them. Look, I, I didn't say it was the best plan, but it works and that's all we need right now. Get in, get in, get in, in, there we go. And now, now he's in the boat, we can just, oh, and we have an pill. That'll come in handy. 
Definitely. So while we're in the nether, I need to find the bastion and the nether fortress. Luckily, it did not take long to find one. Oh my god. How did we find one of these before we found a fortress? That's crazy. Well, you know, I could die here because this place holds one of the most deadliest mobs in the game. So yeah, this is going to be very dangerous. <gasps> you can hit me, but I'm so glad I have these totems. But I should be able to just kill him right here, just like this. Uh oh, I hit the piglet. I did not mean to do that. Uh, okay, well, we're just killing a bunch of people now. I don't even know why I'm... Okay, this may be risky, but I, I do want to, like, loot all of this place because there's gold in here. And I could trade the gold with the piglins to get the eyes of Ender that I would need to go to the end. Oh, wait, magma cubes. I totally forgot about these. Oh, God. Oh, God. They do so much more damage than I thought they did. No, no, no. Oh, no, we're fine. Okay. We got it. We got the magma cube. Dude, look, the boat strategy is already proven to be, be efficient. Okay, grab all this gold. Grab all the gold. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done here. I, I need to get out. I need to get out before anything bad happens. Oh my god. I'm so confused on how we got out of there without popping a totem. I, I impressed myself. Okay, now I need, I need to make a hole for these guys to go in. In, 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 in the hole. In. There we go. Just like that. Was that so hard? Right, hopefully, I have enough gold to get enough eyes to make it to the end later. Because that would be unfortunate if I don't. Oh my god. They can they can still kill me. Okay, right, let's see what we got. Uh, We got... Uh, Nine ender pearls? I, I think that should be enough. All right, now that we got the bastion out of the way, all we need to do is find a fortress now. But on the way, while I was looking for a um, strider to kill, let's just say I made a, I made a very stupid move. Dude, I swear to God. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Ooh. Oh, my God. Well, that went south so fast. Oh, my God. Oh my god, a fortress! Uh, I guess something good came out of almost dying, huh? <laughs> but now a new a new problem has arrived. How the crap am I gonna kill the wither skeletons? And, and not, not even just that, the blazes, dude. Actually, wait, I have string now. And I have arrows. Wait, I can actually craft a bow now. All, all, all I gotta do is get some wood. Okay. There we go, we got a bow. Now we should be good to uh, go into the fortress. For god, this guy we rolled up on! I lost another freaking totem. So now I'm going to go into this fortress without a totem. <sighs> you know what? It's fine though. Do you know why? Because I see some hoglins over there that I didn't kill yet. <laughs> so I'm going to kill them. There we go. And now the final two mobs that we need are just in here. <sighs> Alright. See how this plays out. There's a blaze. Okay. I'm going to kill it from here. Dude, I love that I have these arrows that like... <gasps> no way! No! That's the worst luck. Okay, I think we're fine though. Let's continue to kill this guy. Uh, oh, I killed him. Oh god, I hear the. <gasps> oh god, oh god, he's right there. You gotta be kidding me. I'm dying to a skeleton when I'm trying to focus on other things. Why is there a skeleton in the fortress? Get out of here. Leave. There we go. Okay, we got him. Okay, now even though those were the last two mobs, I still need to kill a bunch of blazes to get blaze rods so I can make it to the end. Fire res! I forgot I had fire res. That saved my freaking life just now. Oh my gosh. Anything? No. Okay, I got two so far. I don't know how many I need. I don't think I need that many. None of them dropped one? Dude, I'm, I'm gonna be here for ages. God dang, dude. I almost died. I need, to, I need to be more careful. What am I doing? Okay, I got nine. That's all I need. I, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Okay, I gotta get out of here now. I gotta get out of here. Of course we're in a cave, bro. Why wouldn't we be in a cave? Alright, now that we're here, go ahead and craft blaze powder with these blaze rods. Now we can finally start making our way to the end. I don't want to dig down to a cave and die. Oh my god, I dug down right on the stronghold. Okay, this is perfect. Whoa! Back up. Okay, perfect. This is, this is another room that I uh, wanted to find. Dude, why do I hear... What? Who is breaking stuff? This is another room that I wanted to find because we need these books for enchantments in the future. Just so, you know, we can kill the warden and other stuff faster because we're, we're going to need a lot of stuff for that. A lot of enchantments on our swords. Who is breaking? Bro. Oh my god, that took way too long to find this. Oh my gosh, and of course it only has one eye. I need way more. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. No way. Dude, these drop rates are so bad. 
All right, let's hope. Let's hope this is enough. Oh my god, just enough, bro. I'm so glad I waited for one more. Boom! Dude, I actually can't believe we've made it this far. And, you know, we're very close to being done. I, I think we might actually be able to, to do this on time, but I am still worried about that skeleton horse. We still have not found that yet. So I didn't really talk that much in this segment. I was, I was not trying to die here because at, at this point I put so many hours in. So I knew I could not mess this up. I'm currently out of arrows. I can't use my bow no more. And I, I don't want to get too close to him. So I, I really, I don't know what to do. Wait, I have TNT. <gasps> Wait, I have an idea. Wait, if this works, this would actually be crazy. I'm going to, I'm going to put TNT right here and then light it whenever he starts coming down. Go. Blow it up. Please work, please work. He's not close enough. No, that did like no damage, dude. I was in a weird placement right here. So I got all the end crystals so the dragon couldn't heal no more. But now I had nothing to attack it with. And I was I was not about to get close to that thing. So I needed to figure out a way to be safe and damage it at the same time. Which I realized that if I dig a small hole right under the dragon and wait for it to come down, it wouldn't be able to damage me. And I could damage it. Um, But I didn't take into consideration his breath. How did I save that... Holy crap, dude. I was just able to hit him. Why am I not able to hit him now? Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Come on. No way. Shoot. Oh my. That was the best thing I've ever done. I would have died right there, bro. The whole challenge. Everything I worked towards would have been over right there. If I didn't, if I missed that water bucket clutch. This is meant to be. I have to win this now. Get back in the hole! We freaking did it! Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my god. Dude. Why is he looking at me? I cannot believe we made it. This far. Okay. Well, you know what? I don't want to celebrate too early because we're not done yet. We still have to kill all the other bosses. But, you know, we're not even done with the end yet because there's one more mob that I have to kill. Oh, stop. 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 Got him. Let's leave. Are you serious? Why didn't, why didn't that end up going? <laughs> One last thing before we leave, now that we have a bunch of endermen here, I think this would be a perfect opportunity to try to get the endermite. Why can't this be- why can't my odds be good? 1 out of 20 10. Yes! Let's go! And I killed it, that's why you thought you could kill it, but you didn't, stupid. Let's get out of here, but I'm done with the end, holy. Alright, we're finally back at the portal that I lit up. Now, I need to go in the nether to get where the skeleton skulls, right? But, like, I'm kind of questioning if I should get looting on my sword before I do that. Because if I don't, it's going to take a very, very, very long time to get the wither skeleton skulls. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely getting looting through. There's no way I'm going to do this without it. Alright, now let's get some obsidian for the enchantment table. What? There's no way, dude. I didn't set my spot. <sighs> that was uh, kind of annoying. <gasps> oh my god. Finally, dude. Looting thing. I am kind of worried though because I'm going into this fortress with without no armor and I'm in hardcore with no totems at all. So like, yeah, this is fun. This is fun. Yeah, hopefully I don't die and like, uh, you know, throw away the challenge. Oh, one dropped. I got one. Freaking finally. I guess I didn't take that long. Okay, now we just need, uh, just need two more. Dude, this is actually absurd. We might have to just come back to this later, because th there's no way I'm going to actually be able to do this. Like, I only have one skull, and I've been here for so long. And we only have, like, around, like, an hour and 30 left, which is not enough time to do, like to do this at all so like I, I may just have to like go and defeat the warden and the elder guardian and then come back to this and the thing is i'm running out of food too and so like i i can't stay in here any longer without like dying this is crazy i i never thought this would be this hard what the
Why is there so many skeletons everywhere? Fight, fight, please fight. Pl please fight each other. This is not good, dude. Eat, eat something, eat something. Dude, what in the world was that? <laughs> How am I still alive? This is a sign, bro. This is a sign I need to get the crap out of this fortress and go go home. I need to go, I need, I need to go. I don't even have a home. I need to go freaking, I need to go to the overworld and get food, dude. I cannot play this without food. Oh my God, dude. I don't even know if this, if this is possible anymore. I don't. Well, well, well. Okay, I don't know why I did that. But we are coming up on the last hour of the challenge. And um, I still have five mobs left. The Warden, the Elder Guardian, the Normal Guardian, the, the stupid horse. I hate that horse. And the Wither. Now look, I, I don't want to be the one to say this, but this might be hopeless. A miracle would have to happen for me to kill all those mobs in just one hour. But maybe, 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 maybe it's possible. Because if there was a temple right above the stronghold, like, you, you literally cannot make this up. Half the mobs that we need are in here. So this is perfect. <sighs> but I do have no time to waste. So like, I, I just gotta jump in and go for it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude. What am I doing right now? Bro, I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw the whole run. What am I doing? Okay, no, I, I gotta breathe. Dude, I freaking see him. He's, he's behind this wall. How do I get there? I can't mine it. Wait, a bed, a bed, a bed. Wait, 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 wait. Can I breathe in this? I can breathe in a freaking bed? Wait, this is so OP. I can probably break this now. Okay, this may take a while, but I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna break it. Oh my gosh. Now, where is he? He's right there. Oh, I forgot he does. He, he looks at me. Get the crap over here! This dude's blocking my path! Get out of here, bro! I killed him! I killed him! I still have two golden apples left. Out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna no I'm not. I'm fine. I'm fine. Holy crap, dude. We didn't die. I thought I was gonna die. What the crap? Now that we have that done, let's move on to the warden. And I have I have the perfect plan to kill it. So I had it back to an enchantment table to get infinity on my bow. I just uh I don't know how many tries it's gonna take. <gasps> no! I went to the nether way too much. We got infinity with power three and unbreaking three. We can use this to kill the warden. Oh my god, thank god, dude. Alright, real quick though, I do want to get some food before we fight the warden. Just to be on the safe side. Now this is the fight we've all tactically been waiting for. Right here. Oh shoot. Okay, he's not spawning yet though. We're fine. All right, so my plan is to hopefully trap the warden in this pit. And then I can just use my bow from like up high and shoot him and kill him that way. Honestly, I think I think it's a really good plan, but I, I just gotta like, gotta pull it off right, you know? I wonder if you can see me from all the way up here. I, I hope you can't. <laughs> all right, let's hope for the best here, bro, because I don't know how this is gonna play off. All right, here we go. Where is he? Where is he? Bro, where is he? Where is he at? Oh, he's right there. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, come over here, come over here, come over here, buddy. I need him in this hole. Come on, fall in the hole, fall in the hole. Yes! Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh my god, wait. Will I actually be able to do this? He fell in the hole, right? He fell in the hole. Yes, he's in the hole. I see him, I see him. Okay, okay, now shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. I freaking killed him, bro. Oh my god. Dude, I, I didn't even have to... I didn't even have to do, like, anything. Well, I had to do some, like, a little bit of preparation. That was so easy. <laughs> Guys. We failed. We have one minute left. I, I got the widow... What? I still have the wither. I I still have uh, a lot of things actually. And that stupid freaking horse. I knew that horse was gonna. You know what? What's fine. Look, I could sit here and talk about how I failed the challenge and be all sad. But honestly, look, it was super fun. I never really got to put my Minecraft skills to the test like this before. And just honestly, playing the game and just seeing how far 
I, I, I could get with no armor on hardcore. While trying to do this challenge was honestly just very enjoyable. And even though we only killed 74 mobs, I'll take this as a win. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. There's no way, bro. There's no way. Are you serious? We got two minutes left. It's a freaking skeleton horse, bro. I oh, what in the? I forgot that happens. Get the crap over here. Get the crap over here. A minute. You cannot make this up. A minute before the challenge was about to end, the skeleton horse was there. Oh my god, that's the craziest odds, dude. How do they even? That's like something in the movie, bro.